of the great correspondents ever is a correspondent for GQ. She's got a big interview with Michael Steele. I have to tell you, Lisa, I have no idea what this gentleman was talking about, but here's an exchange in print. Michael Steele, the choice issue cuts two ways. You can choose life or you can choose abortion. You know, my mother chose life, so you know I think the power of the argument of choice boils down to stating a case for one or the other. DePaul, are you saying you think women have the right to choose abortion? Steele, yeah. I mean, again, I think that's an individual choice. DePaula, you do? Steele, yeah, absolutely. DePaula, are you saying you don't want to overturn Roe v. Wade? Steele, I think Roe v. Wade is a legal matter. Roe v. Wade was a wrongly decided matter. DePaula, okay, but if you overturn Roe v. Wade, how do women have the choice you just said that they should have? Steele, the state should make that choice. That's what the choice is. The individual choice rests in the states. I have no idea what this man is saying. Is he for human rights or states' rights? He ought to know the difference. Does a person decide, or does a state legislature, or a state government decide, or a state court? What does he mean, Lisa? Well, if you see, he went back and forth on it and then at the end said it's a state issue. He, he did the same thing when I asked him about gay marriage. You know, it was kind of a back and forth, well, you should have this right, maybe you shouldn't have this right, and then at the end said it's a state thing. I think, I think the state issue thing is, is an easy cop-out and, sure. and an easy way to say, you know, I'd rather not answer this. Well, look, that's an argument we can all have. I and mean, this, this is a developing, uh, evolving debate in this country about gay marriage, same-sex mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. But on the issue of abortion, where the, the battleground is clear, where you know what the issue is, to confuse the issue of being for choice, in other words, I don't even like the word, but right. the decision ultimately being in the hands of the woman who's most involved in this decision, or the state outlawing it, or the government outlawing it, where is he? Well, I think it's, it shows his ambivalence. And I do think that he, you know, is trying to and make the point. he's chairman of a national party. Well, he was trying to make the point, to me anyway, that, you know, there's a choice and you can choose abortion and you can, or you can choose to have wow. the child. And that's not what a lot of the rank and file are expecting from him. What do you make of this politically, Chris? You've got